everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is janice i am 24 years old i live in brooklyn new york and i do lifestyle videos vlogs i am currently doing vlogmas i am filming every single day up until december 25th so please like and subscribe if you are new here stick around it's a fun time i am currently in finals week i have one final left we are up to vlogmas day 16. i'm so excited clearly I'm getting into the holiday spirit. The closer I am to finishing school and my internship and work and everything, I just, it's starting to come in. Next Friday's Christmas, I can't believe it. Anyway, we're throwing it back old school. I, a few videos ago, I did a what's on my iPhone, which inspired me to do a what's in my work bag. I know, again, this was one of those videos that I just, I love to watch it and no matter how many times I watched it I needed to see another one I don't know if you guys feel the same way I'd love to see what's inside your guys's bags in a non creepy way I like to see what people hold every day like what, what are your essentials that you need in your bag each day you know what I mean okay let's get to the bag first off the bag is a Vera Bradley tote bag I just bought it from their new line, the Merry line. I brought it for myself about a month or so ago. There was like a 60% off type thing and I just, I grabbed it. I love the pattern. It's very wintry. As you can see, it has deer on it and also very like flower. I love a black floral pattern. So I was just, I had to get it. And I honestly haven't treated myself much, which, I think I need to start doing. I know this kind of sounds crazy, but I just am not one to buy for myself during the holiday season. I normally just spend so much on other people, so it was nice to kind of treat myself to have this thing. It's something to keep in mind if you are that type of person that is a giver. Uh, yes, it is okay to give by means 110%, but also save some percent for yourself. So right now it is a cozy December 16th at 3.30. Behind me, it's still kind of lightish as you can see, but there is snow falling in heaps right now. They did not lie about this nor'easter type thing coming. This was real and it's happening. So let's get on into the video and let's see what's in my bag. The first thing that's in my bag, that's usually in my bag, I just didn't have it in my bag at this second, is my laptop. I carry it everywhere I go now. It is an essential item. Wherever I go, I do need my laptop because I need to work and I work for my laptop. Along with that, I always carry my phone charger with me. You never know when you're going to need your phone charger. Next, I have my handy dandy charger for my laptop because that's gonna die because when you go to school and you do work on your computer, it is going to die. Next up, I always carry my headband in my bag. I have this haircut where my lengths are all different sizes. So the way that the guy cut my hair, I have like a shorter in the front, longer in the back. So I constantly need to have my hair out of my face. The only way I could do that is with a headband or a clip. So I find it easy to just keep my headband in there. Also side note, make sure you wash your headbands. I wash them all the time now and they just they smell heavenly. They just actually finished drying because I wash my clothes. I have a washing machine, but I don't have a dryer. So they just finished air drying and whew, I love a good fresh detergent smell. Oh, also this shirt is from Disney last year. It's just a plaid pajama shirt and it's from the Disney store and I love it. And it was marked down when I bought it. So I'm wearing it for this Christmas season. I don't know if they still have stuff like this, but I'm sure they have something similar. I just thought it was very Christmassy and Put me in the mood for this video. <laughs> Next in my bag, I always carry a book. It is the Hobbit J.R.R. Token, but it is, wait for it. Graphic novel version. So I've read the Hobbit before, the regular version. I just, my mother bought this for me. And well, actually she bought it for herself, but we're sharing it because I wanna read it. So I put it in my bag and I will be bringing it with me to work on Sunday. I will be done with finals by Sunday. I will have the free time to read 
for those of you who are in school, do you guys read like for fun on top of graduate school? Because I feel like I have no time to read, but I am a reader and I love to read. So it's like hard for me to not find time to read. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, next item. I have my little wallet. It's just a coach wallet. I bought it at the outlets when I was in Atlantic City, maybe two summers ago. These run, I mean, honestly around like 55 bucks at the outlets. I'm not a fancy person. I don't need fancy things. So just a standard wallet, keep all my credit cards in there, ID, all that stuff. The keys to my apartment. This lanyard I got from Vera Bradley in the outlets, I think last summer. And now I use it for the keys to my apartment. Tech wipes. I think my mom got these for me in Target. They work pretty well. I am always on the go. I am always using my iPad or my phone or my laptop. So we always could use a good clean device. Clinique Even Better Refresh Foundation. I just keep this in here. It's not a heavy foundation. It's just enough to like cover up or touch up a pimple or something like that. So I always keep it in there for emergencies. I have my mask which is Baby Yoda edition. For you guys who don't know me, I am in love with Baby Yoda and the child. And this was from Hot Topic. I just bought it on Black Friday and I love it. It, uh, it goes with my hat that I also have from uh, Love Your Melon. They have a Star Wars line and I was able to get a hat that had the child on the front and I just love it. It's very well knitted and... Uh, we love Grogu. I have some Benadryl spray. I haven't opened it. Thank goodness I haven't needed it. I was going through this thing when I was living at my old apartment where I was breaking out all over my chest and my body in random hives and I went to a doctor. They couldn't figure me out. So they recommended that I just get some Benadryl have some you know cooling spray on me i also take zyrtec it's been helping i haven't really been breaking out too much i recently broke out though unfortunately a few nights ago but i think i'm just abnormally stressed because of everything that's going on in terms of finishing up the semester and just trying to finish finish off strong but no matter how mentally strong you are it's still hard it's definitely a challenge to maintain your mental health and self-care and finding time to do self-care and prioritizing it it's hard it's hard for us i i understand as graduate students i'm sure you guys do too if you're a student it is just so hard it's a hard time to be a student right now band-aids i always need band-aids in my bag because i rip up the back of my feet frequently um when i wear new flats or something like that the back of my feet always suffer so just in case for whatever reason i always keep some band-aids in my bag the last thing I keep in my bag is the Nourishing Hydrating Hyaluronic Body Gel Cream from Trader Joe's. If you're sleeping on the Trader Joe's body care section, ladies, gents, everyone far and in between, please go there. By no means a sponsored video. I just love the way that it keeps my skin so hydrated especially in the winter time i find my knuckles becoming so dry so easily because i'm constantly and i mean constantly washing my hands i cannot stop i won't be stopped you know we're in a pandemic so i'm washing my hands even more than usual so they're constantly drying out so i thoroughly wash my hands and then i follow up with this cream i know it's crazy to like carry a bottle of cream in your bag but honestly what are, what, what's the gal gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I also have hand sanitizer. I just ran out, so I didn't put a new one in my bag, but I will. I use just Bath & Body Works. There's a, these very tiny hand sanitizers. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We are gonna be up to Vlogmas Day 17 tomorrow. Please stay tuned, like, and subscribe to continue on this journey with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved watching what's in my work bag, bag videos, and I am actually getting back into the old school type videos. So let me know if you wanna see any other old school YouTube videos that I just can't think of right now. I remember what's on my iPhone, what's in my bag, maybe a room tour or something like that. I'll do that next. I am open to any ideas 
at this point. I am in the Christmas spirit and I hope you guys are getting into it too and you're finishing up your finals or work or what have you. A break is coming guys. We are at the end. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye.